Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Eat Pancho back at you again with another video. And so we've got to talk about what exactly has been developing in regards to the mass shooting event that took place in Plymouth because I've seen a lot of people confused about what exactly went down so hopefully this video will clear a lot of things up. If you see my Instagram post yesterday then you know I tried to give as many updates as I could but normally with incidents like this new information comes out quite literally every 5 or 10 minutes so initial coverage could change as more information starts to come through. So firstly for anyone who isn't aware yesterday reports had started to come through that a gunman went on a shooting spree yesterday evening in Plymouth which resulted in multiple deaths and various people going on to be hospitalized. From the information that is currently out there, it's thought that at around 6.10 p.m. last night, gunman 22-year-old Jake Davison stormed a home on Biddick Drive in the Keum area of Plymouth, armed with a pump-action shotgun. Davison is believed to have been a licensed gun carrier, but it's unknown whether he was licensed to carry the firearm used in the shooting. An eyewitness to this part of the shooting, who goes by the name of Sharon said quote firstly there was shouting followed by gunshots three possibly four to begin with this was when the shooter kicked in the door of a house and randomly started shooting police have now came out to say that Davison shot a woman in that address and it's thought that the woman and Davison are known to each other but as it stands right now the police aren't mentioning the relationship between the pair shortly after Davison leaves the address and makes his way down Biddick Drive he points and shoots the pump action shotgun at a girl who's been described as extremely young thought to have been three or five She's pronounced dead at the scene, along with an older male relative who was also shot and killed at the scene. Davison then continues to make his way down Biddick Drive, where he shoots at two local residents a man and a woman who received significant but non-life-threatening injuries. As it stands right now, they're receiving treatment at a local hospital. After this, he then enters North Down Crescent Play Area and shoots a man who died at the scene before making his way to Henderson Place and open fire on a woman who, despite the best efforts of paramedics, died at hospital. Then finally, gunman Jake Davison turned the gun on himself. Some more information that has been developing is that it's believed emergency services had arrived at the scene within six minutes and Jake had took his own life before police were able to engage with him. It's emerged today that before the shooting had took place, Jake had a small YouTube channel where he spent his time talking about things like this. I'm clarifying myself as an incel, but, you know, people like similar to me, they've had nothing but themselves. And then they've socially had it tough probably grew up in a background like like how can you have driving willpower I just, you know when you've been defeated a million times it's you wake up and you're like well, what the f you know when you've when you've worked so hard so hard and you see motherfuckers at work nowhere near as hard as you and then you wake up and you stare at the wall and you're thinking i'm Nothing's changed. Like, I'm still in the same position, same period in life. Still a f***ing this, that, virgin, fat, ugly, whatever you want to call it. What's changed? Nothing. Why do I even do it for? The guy had a whole YouTube channel speaking on similar things. He wasn't big, having only around 50 subscribers before YouTube decided to remove his channel. The video is having eerie similarities with that of Elliot Roger, the incel Isla Vista mass murderer. Although in Davison's case, there isn't any reports to go on to say that he had any plans to kill anyone like Elliot Roger did. But reports are saying that he liked videos in relation to guns, gaming and space exploration but was also said to have been obsessed with american politics even going on to claim that he was from arizona although he was from the southwest of england that's all the information that we currently know in regards to this whole situation of course as more information comes out i will keep you guys posted on what exactly has gone down but i just want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to every single innocent person that died in this situation and I do want to send my condolences over to the family and friends of the victims 
and anybody else who has been affected by this situation. But give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.